it is a Friday. It's currently 8.24. I just got ready super quickly, drank my coffee. Well, I'm still drinking my coffee. But it is a Friday. I'm so excited for the weekend. I cannot wait. This is actually a very excited weekend because I have a lot of plans. Not so much like going out, but a lot of plans for like organizing the apartment a little bit more. Hopefully the things that I want to come in do come in either today or tomorrow hopefully today you guys will see i'm super excited to kind of just organize a little bit more and finally kind of build the area that i've wanted for such a long time and my husband's sleeping right now but i'm actually gonna go wake him up because we have to go to the farmer's market get some fruits some veggies maybe some bagels because they have bomb bagels and I also have to go to the post office to drop off some packages that some of you guys bought from my Poshmark. So thank you so much for those who bought things from me. Appreciate it. You guys are helping me clean out my closet. And you know, I need to clean out my closet. And yeah, I'm just so excited for this weekend. It's going to be... Really? Really? Oh, what's wrong, Mama? She wants attention. But I haven't vlogged since Puerto Rico, so it's time I vlog. I'm sorry, I'm like touching my hair a lot. If you guys saw my last haul, you saw that it was curly, so I haven't had my hair straightened in such a long time. And it's so long, you guys. It's getting longer. I remember last year, I chopped it up, like, up here. And now it's growing so much. But yeah, but I had it curly for like two weeks. And this is the first time I've had it straightened and I just can't stop touching it. So I'm sorry. But like I was saying, I haven't vlogged since Puerto Rico and I love vlogging. I kind of just love chatting with you guys and showing you guys a little bit about my life. And yeah, I miss it. So I want to vlog this whole weekend and show you guys what we're up to. But that's all I have for now. Let's go wake up my husband so we can go get some We just got back from the farmer's market and I went straight to the bed to lay down a little. That's why I'm in bed and my hair is crazy right now. But we just got back and I'm starving so I'm going to quickly show you guys what we got. We only have some coffee from Starbucks and we walked around Boston for a little bit. So this is everything we got at the farmer's market. We got some kale, some asparagus, red pepper, green pepper, some oranges corn and avocado i've really been into eating corn lately i don't know why i just really like them with butter but yeah that's pretty much it we didn't pick up a lot of stuff because there was actually not a lot of of the fruit that my husband likes so he didn't get that much fruit maybe next time guys look what just got here in the mail my desk so excited to build this and it's gonna go right over here. Guys, I didn't show you the finished products because I had to get ready, but this is the desk. Isn't it cute? It has the keyboard drawer and it has two side stuff. I already have stuff in there. Two little drawers. So yeah, there's a drawer. And I like that the legs are chrome because it actually matches hey, my mirror. And I got a second package that I'm so excited about. I got dressed because I'm actually going to film. Don't mind that mess over there. 
I'm actually going to film a unboxing video with it and I can't wait for you guys to see it. It won't be in this vlog, but I'll still show you guys once it's set up what it is. Actually, I'll show you guys right now because why not? I'll do like a separate unboxing haul with it and then I'll show you guys the final product. But are you guys ready? Look at it. It's so gorgeous. I got the new iMac and before a lot of you guys ask me why I got an iMac, the reason I got an iMac was because I have an old as MacBook Pro. I think it's from 2015. So it's pretty old and it's actually acting like it's aged, like freezes on me all the time. Sometimes it doesn't turn on and I'm just like over it. I want to take my videos up a notch. Like I want to take my editing up to the next level and I just can't do that with the MacBook Pro. And you're probably asking, so why didn't you get the new MacBook Pro? I didn't get the new MacBook Pro because I know that Apple is going to update their systems and software next year. And I'm okay with having like the iMac now and then just having or buying the MacBook Pro next year when they have new updates. Because I didn't really like the macbook version that they have now like it just wasn't wow to me or anything like i was contemplating getting that instead but honestly i just prefer the imac and i've been dying for a desk setup i missed that just because i no longer work in an hr or nine to five and i'm no longer at a desk and i feel like i'm more productive when i'm at a desk versus on my bed i lollygag and i tend to scroll on my phone whatever so i really wanted a desktop with an imac obviously i'm not gonna leave apple i love apple i love their computers i love their software so that's why you guys can see um so that's why i ended up buying the imac and i'm gonna unbox it now because it's waiting for me and i love it i'm so excited i cannot wait to have it set up but i'll show you guys once it's all done and this is the setup you guys my cat's already on the thing of course but i was testing out a youtube video but look how gorgeous it is i need to buy a mouse pad i completely forgot to buy one so i'm gonna order one now you guys want to see something funny i have my husband's workout chair because my that chair is not coming in until Tuesday so this is the best we got for now and I'm gonna finish setting this up I did film an unboxing video I have no idea how it turned out because because I was sweating buckets so I don't know if it's actually gonna even be good enough if it's not I'll include clips in this vlog and call it a day um, but I'm so excited to finish setting this up. I can't believe this workout chair or workout bench actually works as a desktop chair or a desk chair. Like, who would have known? Genius. But, yeah, I'm going to finish setting this up, getting my cat out of here. And I'll catch up with you guys. It might be a while because I'm so excited. And I want to try editing on this bad boy right away. This vlog will definitely be edited on this, so I'm excited to see what I can do. And yeah, I'm so excited. I'll catch up with you guys later. Oh, also, if you have like any desktop like accessories that you would recommend, left definitely let me know because I want to decorate this area really cute. I don't want a lot of like junk in this area. I want to keep it very minimalistic, but. I do want like a couple little decorations, so definitely let me know. Hey guys, so it's much later now. It's actually 4.24 and I filmed the unboxing haul for the iMac and I'm now editing and I'm almost done and I don't know how I feel about the video. I'm like a perfectionist and I've been trying to learn how to not be a perfectionist. You know when you want something to be perfect but you know life 
happens and things are not perfect and I've never unboxed anything this big so I'm being Heidi Heidi I'm being highly critical of myself right now so I need to take a little break and just step away from the editing process and just realize that it's the best that I could and sometimes that's just good enough and it has to be good enough I feel like if you are a perfectionist or you strive to be a perfectionist you get where I'm coming from like relinquishing what am I saying I can't even <laughs> if you are a perfectionist and you have a hard time like letting go of control and letting go of trying to be perfect you understand that it's hard and it can be draining because you're like over analyzing and over critiquing everything i'm literally my biggest worst enemy and i need to stop doing that but it's hard i'm working on it though anyways we're gonna go figure out what to eat most likely pizza if you need a little reminder take a break take it easy on yourself don't be a perfectionist do the best you can because that's all we can do. <laughs> Hey guys, good morning. It's Saturday. It's currently 11.08. I've had a pretty uneventful Saturday so far. It's kind of cloudy, but it's supposed to clear up later on today. I'm not really sure if it actually will clear up. If it actually will. Wow, I can't speak. If it actually will clear up today. Um, if it does, I'm probably gonna head out to go to Marshalls to see what they have. I haven't been to Marshalls since before the shutdown. It's literally been months. And I just want to see what they have. I love going to Marshalls during this time of the year because fall is next month. And they always have the cutest things. And I kind of want to see if I can find any like little decor for my desk. And I'm also getting my nightstand table today. My second nightstand table. So I want to see if they have any cute little decor for that. And I don't know. Probably take it easy. I did post a youtube video today unboxing the imax the one i filmed yesterday so if you haven't seen that check it out i'll have it linked below and other than that i pretty much have nothing else going on today i'm gonna work out in a little bit eat some lunch and then see what the day takes I'm hoping I get a couple packages today aside from the nice sand table. There's a couple things that I did order. I don't know if it's going to come in time, but if it does, I'll show you guys those as well. We're just going to have a chill, productive day at home. The toilet I was going to show you.
Hey guys, so I was trying on some of the things I got from Aritzia yesterday in the mail and I decided to include like a little haul in today's vlog just because I know that one of you wanted to see a whole comfy Aritzia haul which is coming but a lot of their new colors is completely sold out or won't be delivered until next month, September. So... I thought why not include some of the comfy pieces that I got yesterday in this haul. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to start off with this really comfy set. I am sweating, you guys, because it's so freaking hot right now. I think it's like 85 degrees in Boston right now. But I still wanted to show you guys, and I also just wanted to try it on. I got a complete set, but I bought these separately. The top is the classic fleece. This retails for 70 bucks, so it's expensive, but it's so worth it. It feels so luxurious on the skin, and it's so freaking thick, you guys. I'm obsessed with it, and I really like like the raw crop of this. I think it's at a perfect angle or perfect spot i love how it's cropped i love that it's kind of messy so it has like some of the hem out like it's not a perfect crop i really like it and it's fleece which is another reason why i'm melting right now it's fleece so it's going to keep you really nice and warm i'm not even wearing a bra and you can't really tell what i'm not so that's how thick it is and then i got the matching bottoms and these are the boyfriend joggers, if I remember correctly. I got them in a size small, and these retail for $60. And for some reason, the bottom is cheaper than the top. I don't know the reasoning for that, but I really like this. It has pockets. I think it fits really well. I'm wearing the wrong type of underwear, but I really like the waist, how it's cinched like that. It ties right here in the front, and I just think it's so... Cute. This is such a cute set and I don't have any set this color like I love this color. This is perfect for the fall What do you guys think? Do you guys like it? So let's continue to try on <laughs> some more stuff So this next set it's from the Sunday best brand from Aritzia and if you saw my last Aritzia haul I told you guys how much I love Sunday best for a lot of their comfy pieces and this is another matching set but you have to buy it separately so this is the top it's like a heather gray and then i just got the matching joggers and these are a lot thinner than the ones i just showed you so they're perfect for the fall i don't know if i would go outside with them just because of how thin it is i might early fall but this is definitely like your perfect stay at home loungewear outfit oh. And I really like it. I like that the joggers are super high-waisted and then the crop shirt goes over the waist. I think that's really cute. The two pockets on the side and then, wait, is there a pocket? Yeah, there's a pocket. And there's actually a pocket on your butt cheek. So, so cute. So the top is a size small, the bottom is a size small, and then the top retails for... $38 and then the bottom retails for $48 so this is a lot more affordable than the set I just showed you when the top was $70 bucks and then the pants were $60 so if you want like a more affordable option but still super comfortable and still worth the money this is definitely a good investment and I know that Aritzia is really expensive I know but when you buy from Aritzia, you have to think of it as an investment. I hate to say that because what do you get in return? <laughs> but truly, it is an investment to invest in your closet and to make sure that you have pieces that are going to last you for a long time. Like I know this is going to last me for such a long time and I'm going to be able to wear it for years to come. And also keep an eye out for sales because Aritzia has amazing sales. Sometimes you can get things like this for more than half the price. So sign up for their newsletter and just keep an eye out for their sales and stuff because you can really get some good stuff. Hi. Oh, my baby. All right, guys. So the next items that I got from Aritzia were these 
really nice fleece joggers. I think they're the exact same ones as the cream ones or the new ones I showed you guys earlier just because they look really alike. They might not be, but if they are, I'll let you know in the comments below or in the description box. And then I just got a matching oversized zip-up jacket. I think this is their 90s oversized jacket and I've been seeing this so much lately like I love that 90s fashion is coming back and I think this is such a cute outfit especially for the fall sports bra is a lululemon but like how cute does this look with some nice sneakers this can be your outfit of the day honestly so I really like this really good quality the jacket is super oversized which I'm in love with it's super thick it has pockets on the side which hello it's essential and then the pants are magnificent <laughs> i don't know how else to describe them this is a perfect addition to your wardrobe because it's black and it's something that again you can use for years your kids can freaking wear this in the future it's so good so oversized Whew. i'm sweating so much right now the jacket is from the brand tna and so is the bottom and the jacket retails for $90 and it's a size 2. Again, super expensive, but this is like a really nice essential that you know is not going to shrink in the wash or anything like that. And then the bottoms retail for $60. Hold on, I'll be with you in a second. And these are really cute. So I love these. And I am sweating. I'm sweating so much right now, and you guys can tell on camera. So I'm gonna take this off, put on some leggings, and then I'm gonna go work out <laughs> and pay attention to my cat. Hey guys, so it's currently Sunday night and it's 7.41 and I'm thinking I'm going to end the vlog off here. I don't want it to be super long. This is probably already one of the longest vlogs I've done on my channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog. If you did, let me know. Give this video a big thumbs up. That way I know you guys enjoy vlogs and I can definitely make some more. I do like making fashion videos, but I do like making vlogs as well kind of break up my channel's theme a little bit so it doesn't get too boring and I did try a different style of editing this time around I added some cool effects let me know if you like that or if you don't if you don't even better because it's so much easier to edit and much more straightforward but if you do that's cool too because I like doing that sort of thing I think it's different and kind of sets my videos apart from other youtubers but yeah if you made it through this whole entire video and you are not subscribed what are you doing subscribe join the little community that i'm building here on youtube and yeah that's pretty much it thank you so much for watching you guys and i'll see you guys in the next one bye